Okay, we are in EVE SOI. We're just going to proceed with the maneuver. This is not primarily a science mission. We are here to fill the contracts, and I'm going to focus on that. Okay, maneuver. Oh, I've got to... Oh, yeah, we need to lock the tanks up here. Anyway, ignition. I was reading this Delta V too. Nope, nope, nope. Don't do that. Okay, we probably went a little bit too far. Uh, taking a look at the map. That's our situation. Now, when can we get a good ghillie encounter? Maybe we'll just boost up over here to a ghillie-ish sort of situation. Nope. We've got a very high apoapsis. Gilly's not got to provide much by way of help. We'll probably dump the little pod and have it do its own rendezvous once we get up here. I've decided it might be better to just do it at the node, the descending or ascending node, instead of at apoapsis. Okay, so what we're doing is a Correction that contains a inclination change and a radial component and some prograde retrograde. It's complicated. And we're bringing our orbit down to this, which will hopefully be a better phasing orbit than our awkward initial orbit. But it costs 521, well, 22 meters per second. So anyway, we'll proceed to that node. But we'll dump off the pod because it probably wants to go a different way than the way we are going. It's going to have to line up with fill cell. Oh, I passed it. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, anyway. Hopefully it's not too sensitive. So the fill cell rescue pod is away. And let me just put a dummy thing there. Oh, we have to unlock the fuels. It does have comms, and we have 2,700 meters per second, so that's a lot. It can, they can do it. But unfortunately, it took our node with it. <laughs> uh, okay, back to this. It lost the node. Great. All the careful planning in the world. Well, you know what? We'll just do it on the next orbit. Okay, that's basically what I wanted. But that'll be on the next orbit, so we can focus on this pod and the fill cell rescue now. We do need to, we only have little panels for electric charge, so we need to pay attention to that. Now, how do we get to fill cell? Well, the ascending node is there, but we might as well lift our orbit first. I'm trying for an uh, encounter right there. But it's a little bit awkward. That's a huge relative speed. That's not, we can't get back to Kerbin like that. So, instead I'll just boost up and not do that part like that. That's too awkward. We'll take our time with it. So first we'll boost up, and then that'll leave this at a higher position that'll allow us to flip. Maybe flipping right away will be better. After all, flipping boosts our orbit either way. Nope, actually boosting up is better. Okay. So we'll do that maneuver first, but it's a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully the return to Kerbin is not going to be so tight. But we'll do the maneuver with this little pod first. I, maybe there's a way to change the inclination here that will help. This part of this burn. Okay, I think I've got most of the flip done here at Apoapsis. Can't do all of it because it's not one of the nodes, but this is better. It'll only leave us with a 14 degree relative inclination and it costs 777. And I think that's better than what I tried to plot before. So let's go with this. The good communication is encouraging. 
Uh, why don't we observe Mystery Goo? I wonder if there's a way of... Well, recovery is 23. It's not nothing. Okay. And go. Flipping our orbit. How about the gravity data? Oh, that, that actually has transmittable value, but we'll recover it. We'll be interested to see what scientist Phil Cell makes of these observations. Okay, so that is that maneuver done. And that leaves us in this sort of orbit, which should be conducive to a rendezvous. A little bit lopsided. That's gonna take too long and take too much delta V. Let's wait. Yeah, well, we basically get an encounter with only 4 meters per second like that. And that will cost us a relative speed of only 300, so... That is good. We can fine-tune that a little bit more, hopefully. Well, I'm gonna take 60 kilometers right now. It's sort of awkward and I can't quite visualize it because I can't focus on that point very well. But we're, we'll do this burn, so it's about 400 altogether. Uh, to get to 60 kilometers, we'll see. All right, but we need to check out. I think we have to do the other things burn first. So let me go to the tracking station. But we have to watch out. We only have 5,000 units of liquid fuel left there. The 44 oxidizer is where exactly? <laughs> How do we get 44 oxidizer around here? Oh, right, on the little probe. Yes, we do need that oxidizer. Yep, okay. So anyway, getting to the maneuver. Well, there's sort of a in the middle of everything maneuver. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little prograde, a little bit radial, a little bit normal. And shut down right on the spot there. But no encounter, so we have to... This is all tentative. We've got very good inclination with respect to Gilly. Okay, there is a Gilly encounter. Alright, that's a pretty solid Gilly encounter right there. And so we just lift our orbit up like that. And that's in 19 hours. 223 meters per second. We'll see. Again, the Gilly Station does have some liquid fuel, so we are obviously going to dip below the required amount on this addition, but we might have enough in total. It looks like that 19-hour maneuver is still the next one, so we'll stick with it. Okay, so finally, Gilly Rendezvous Maneuver. And Ignition. It's going to be really sad if we end up there and we're like one unit short or something. Okay, 0, 0 0.0. And we have that Gilly encounter, but this time we really do have to pay attention to the rescue pod for Phil Cell and do its maneuver first. Okay, the Phil Cell improved proximity maneuver, go. Can't really call it a rendezvous because we're not going to be within render range or anything. We'll have to do more work for that. Okay, well that's 0, 0 0.0 and 60 kilometers is our improved proximity. Right before that, let me make a maneuver so that we have an idea. One day, seven hours. That is the right side, right? Uh, no, we're going around the other way. So that maneuver, still one day, seven hours, but a few minutes on the opposite side. Okay, so let me just change to not fill cells capsule, um, that ship. Oh gosh, the Gilly encounter is in one day, seven hours and 33 minutes. <laughs> just my luck. Okay, uh, that's complicated. Just the right timing, huh? Well, okay, let's focus on the Phil Cell Rescue first then. 
let's get this done quickly though. Okay, well that's 37 seconds. Target please. Okay. Target marker. Okay, this way. And go. Want an indication that we are in fact getting closer here. And if we could push that out just beyond our ghillie encounter, that'd be nice. Well, separation 0, 0, 0, 0.0 might be a little bit dangerous. <laughs> um, 1. 0. 0.1 kilometers in 19 minutes. All right, when's the ghillie encounter with the with our other craft? Oh, is it already sort of this very close? 19 minutes, huh? Okay, so this encounter starts in 5 minutes, and our periapsis is in 18 minutes. Uh, great. Well, let's try and capture a little bit ahead of periapsis then. As long as we're captured, we can do the rest later. Okay, so... That's some other orbit. We mainly want this ghillie station. 10 minutes. Okay, well, we've already done a few minutes, so let's keep that in mind and do the maneuver ahead of time. So we'll do a capture maneuver with some extra radio so that we don't have the periapsis crashing into the surface. And we'll leave it be like that for now. Maybe we can do some inclination adjustment, let me see. Okay, well there's an uh, intersect point, so we can get that. 2.9 kilometers, and not too bad on the delta V. Okay, so we'll try that combination to get that intersect point. And we're doing that maneuver well ahead of periapsis, even though that's not quite as optimal in terms of delta V, because we do not want to miss out on the fill cell rescue. And at least it keeps our ghillie periapsis up, so that's okay too. Ghillie station's right there. It's not that far away, but then nothing in ghillie orbits that far away. Okay, go. Okay, need this to be precise. Okay, well, we were point 0.1 off. Uh, how bad is it? Uh, we still got that encounter. Three hours and 39 minutes. Okay, let's not hang around. We need to get to fill cell again. Okay, the intersect point is still in our future. What an interesting pod. I didn't say anything about recovering the pod, right? Nope, it's just save Phil Cell Kerman. We'll deal with the pod some other time. Okay, Phil Cell, just come on out. I have not so far eliminated any debris in the tracking station, by the way. Okay, board. Alright, so Phil Cell is in. 1,400 meters per second to get back home. And... I don't know, when would that be exactly? Probably not for a long time. Kerbin would have to be ahead of Eve. So, we'll deal with that later. Alright, so, well... Save Phil Cell has been done. Actually, Phil Cell, could you get the data there so we can do that again? Though... I don't know if... We're still high over Eve, so it's probably not going to be anything new. Okay, unit is operational again. Observe Mystery Goo. Um, I think it's just high over Eve that we've already got. Yeah. Anyway, we've got some science anyway. Have we done EVA report high over Eve? Yes.
Okay, so Phil Cell is there. Back to Gilly. Well, we're going in the wrong direction for the satellite contract. It's funny that the resource scanner satellite contract position a satellite in a specific order to Gilly that has a resource survey scanner um, puts that in an orbit that is useless for the re resource survey scanner. And we will keep the resource survey scanner probe with us until after we dock so that we have its liquid fuel. Delta V-wise at this point, it's no, no big deal. We just need 13 meters per second to rendezvous here. Okay, fixing it up a little bit. Up. Oh, let me go faster. Okay, we are now 200 meters away. Let me just point at target and have the target turn a bit. The node that we have to dock to, unfortunately, is this one. The docking port there. So, all right, not the best docking port ever. Merpont. You don't even have a point at target thing. Okay, we better get back over there to slow down. RCS. Wait, how much? Do, uh, okay, we do have, wow, 365. It looks like, uh, what was it? Ooh, we'll have just enough if we don't use any more liquid fuel at all, which I don't intend to. Gosh. Planning. <laughs> I No, it's sheer luck in this case. I mean, I did look at how much Delta V we would have on this without using that 3,000, using the surplus, but other than that, it yeah, mostly luck. Hmm, how good is the magnetism going to be for us? Well, good enough. Alright, so RCS off. And maintain stability for 10 seconds. Alright, we got it done. 4,365 units of liquid fuel on the station required. 4,368 is what we have here. <laughs> oh dear, we cut that one close all right. Okay, but we have one more contract here. We need to deploy this satellite. So, uh, well, let's make sure its antenna is out right away. Okay, decouple. Okay, it is deploying. We have comms. Extend solar panel, extend solar panel, and we have uh, another dish on this side. Okay, so it is proper now. Um, yes, it has the requirements, and we just need to get to the right orbit. So activating the ant engine. Oh, we can't do that. Huh? Oh, gosh. Oh, no, the decoupler is the wrong way around. Um, does this provide thrust? Yes, it does. Okay, all right. So the decoupler is just uh, a side issue. Uh, I don't know what to call it, actually. It's a bonus. So we need to... Which way are we going? All right, uh, we'll fix it over here. And we actually need to do a flip. Many flips today. Okay, well that's a tangency at the periapsis that'll work out for us. If we do that maneuver. Not a whole lot of delta V required. It's not reading any delta V at all because of that silly decoupler. We've got a lot of stuff with relay satellites around Gilly right now. Well, we've got the Gilly station right there, so. And that seems to have a line back. Just want to make sure that we don't have a situation. 
where we start the engine and then lose comms. Okay, proceeding. It's, oh, are we controlling from the wrong point? Um. Okay, well, fine. Uh, hmm. All right, well, let me just say... Where's the reverse scale control point for reverse? I don't know. Maybe? I want to do the maneuver here. I don't know why it would be reversed. I, I guess I accidentally put the controller on upside down. Because I was building it backwards on the bottom of it. So much wrong with this. Okay, that was the maneuver as plotted. So now we just need to... And we are going the right way. And so at periapsis, somewhere around here-ish, we need to bring our... Whoa, not that much. Honestly, we have way too much fuel here, but we would like to get into a polar orbit to do the proper resource scanning for Gilly. I guess we haven't done that yet. I think. Let me just quickly check. No resource data available. Okay. Yeah, we haven't done the resource scanning for Gilly yet. Let me just deploy the scanner. Okay. Correction maneuver. Okay, and it looks like that is done. It didn't even ask me to maintain stability. It was so stable during that tiny little burn that it counted. Okay, but we need to get into a polar orbit now, which we will do like that. <laughs> Hopefully that is a suitable polar orbit for the resource scanning. Okay, go. Is that good enough? Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, 25 and 65 kilometers. Okay, so we need to actually boost up on both sides. 27, all right. Okay, well that's more than 25 on either side. So now, and we have power coming in, form oral survey. Okay, and we got 60 science, but more importantly we've got or concentration data, and it looks like Gilly has a fair amount, certainly better than certain other locations we've seen. It looks like 60% mostly, and then otherwise beyond that, nothing. So, but lots of opportunities here. Should we want to mine Gilly? Which is a popular thing to do. Okay, I don't want the overlay right now. Okay, well, we'll have to wait to bring back Phil Cell, but otherwise we've done all the things that I wanted to do here after some tragedy. Uh, but yeah, next time we'll see what we can do. There's, we, there's plenty of other contracts. I saw an Explore Tylo contract, but that's probably gone. I should have picked it up while I saw it. But yeah, we'll see what other contracts we've got. And we still need science to continue unlocking stuff. We have not got all our technologies yet, so that is... The primary goal at this point, though, working up a good war chest so that we can do crazy things, you know, as far as funds is concerned, funds are concerned. Anyway, as far as the money is concerned, we need to make sure that we get a lot of money before we do run the like a shuttle system or something like that. So anyway, with that in mind, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.